What's up everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood Tony here with my beautiful and brilliant and wonderful and intelligent <laughs> and kind All and right. lovely girlfriend, Tierney. That's good. And we just got out of the theater watching uh, Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore. And boy, we have some secrets to share with you about the movie. No, we're that, not doing spoilers. No, we're not doing spoilers. Okay, okay, no secrets, no spoilers. We just want to kind of give our out of the theater thoughts about the movie overall to let you know if we liked it. Maybe some of what we did and didn't like, but again, no spoilers. So, overall, I will ask you this, Tierney. Yes. Did you like The Secrets of Dumbledore? I did. I like the universe, so it's hard not to like the movie. It's yes. not my favorite of the Fantastic Beasts. Okay. But, it, I mean, maybe that's how I feel every time like things come to a close, because they have to do a lot of plot work to like tie up things. Yeah, absolutely. So, I, I definitely agree with you on that. I feel like anytime you watch a... Fantastic Beast or Harry Potter, any wiz wizarding world movie, it's hard to not get swept up in the, the world itself. And mm -hmm. you feel the magic, for lack of a better term, of you, you know <laughs> of everything that's going on, right? It's 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 kind of this wondrous re reality that you want to be a part of. So mm. I feel like during the first act, I definitely felt that. I felt that they were doing a good job painting this world. They kind of start off showing you some interesting locations and some interesting creatures and interesting I love magic. The creatures. Yes, and especially you know having Newt Scamander, he mm. is a what do they call him? A magazoologist or something yeah. like that, which is awesome. But so you get to see a lot of really cool stuff and just really uh, things that get you kind of swept up in in the world of the movie. I think, and I, let me know if you agree with this, where it starts to. I don't want to say fall apart because that sounds really harsh, but where it starts to waver a bit is when it gets into the more of the details of the plot points. Did you feel that? Yeah, I did feel that the buildup for Grindelwald didn't pan out. Yeah, I, I can I can see that for sure. Of course, as you know, in this movie, we're getting a different actor playing Grindelwald. We have Mads yeah. Mikkelsen. Who was still was great. That's not my complaint. Mads Mikkelsen, a fantastic actor. I think he definitely plays villainous well. Yeah, for sure. Um you know as you... and he's a pretty believable like i love johnny depp mm -hmm. and so he's like a fun villain-esque and and like magical charismatic character right but i think mads played a more realistic leader sure like in that way like yeah in the like johnny... manipulative sort of way yeah because grindelwald is a, a leader he has this group of people yes, that's following this, like, him stoic regal like the i understood why people would trust and want to follow that right yeah which i still i love johnny depp so that's not a complaint against johnny depp's depiction but yeah yeah i i think that there are two different types of characters and i'm still undecided as to which i felt more fit my idea of who grindelwald is you know i, I like we touched on mads mickelson is better at playing that kind of like leader of a villain but i feel like johnny depp has more of maybe the emotional side of it yeah they didn't yes 100 percent. and which i guess you need so when johnny depp played him he had more of that relationship with credence right where you understand understood why credence would like go to him and trust him right and if mads had played that character i don't know yeah mads is much more been, yeah much more of a cold kind of character i think yeah, and with johnny and depp yeah with johnny depp you can understand why credence uh who is played by ezra miller would rely on him. Yeah. You know. So it's kind of weird because Mads did not play, he just played his own version, I feel like. Yeah. Grindelwald. It's not like he tried to pick up, which makes sense. I wouldn't try to pick up where another actor left off. Yeah, but. for sure. Otherwise, you're just going to be, I mean, there's no way around it. You're going to be compared to him the entire time, mm -hmm. but more so if you try to mimic him. Yeah. Um, aside from that, were there any other characters that stood out to you as good or bad? If I'm being honest, I was let down by a couple characters, which I feel like they did a lot to build up their likability in the earlier movies mm, okay. and they just didn't give them their own like effervescence okay um, okay i always love newt newt was true to his character that's my homie that's, that's what's yeah. up newt so Puffle, puff, all day, eddie redmayne name dropping like you uh yeah. did amazing as usual like not let down there i wasn't super into queenie uh tina I felt very let down by Tina's character. That's Newt's love interest. And I feel like these are like kind of important. So that was kind of a let down. Yeah. I felt like Queenie was a little bit of a let down. Let down. Right. You um, feel like we didn't get enough from those characters? Yeah. And I, I actually feel like they brushed over Ezra, Miller, Ezra Miller's character Credence a little bit too. Yeah. You know what? I'm totally with you on that. Yeah. yeah like he, they made him everything. And really, truthfully, he is everything. And they mm -hmm. just. They're just like, oh, yeah. And also he's here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, he had a nice shining moment with just spoil plot. He had a moment where I feel like, okay, great, but like, he was the buildup, mm -hmm. and then they almost discarded him and followed a different plot path. Yeah, 
I, I think with movies like this, when it is the culmination of a series of films, you have the obligation to wrap up everyone's individual storylines. Yeah. And this does that in a bit of a clunky way mm-hmm. where, yes, there is a natural conclusion to what's going on, but then we just kind of end up being like, oh, I guess also this person's going to go and do this, and then they have to have this conversation. Yeah, it like wraps and- it up and you're like, I guess that's what they're doing, but it doesn't, it, it leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah. From actually, if, if I'm going to be honest, for every plot point, every plot point, I felt let down, boy. Let down, boy. Uh, boy. <laughs> of all the characters, conclusions is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think if there's one that I didn't feel that way. And I, I don't have one. Boy, that's kind of, that's interesting. Yeah, because I would say still... Well, over- I was a lot more positive about it when we first worked I know. out. Now I, that we're I, talking about it. I will still say I enjoyed the movie, but I don't think... I think if it wasn't a Harry Potter or Wizarding World, World movie, I don't know if I would have enjoyed it as much. Yeah, I, 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 think- I, I did enjoy it because I enjoy the world and all the best parts about it are the world yeah. and some of like the nice, the sweet touches that they've given some of those characters like Newt Scamander, mm-hmm. who, in my opinion, carried that film, which makes sense because he's the lead, but... Yeah. Yeah, actually, he shouldn't have been the lead in this one, though. This is this is no, really Dumbledore. Not. Yeah. This is Dumbledore and Grindelwald's story. Can I hot take for sure. a second? Jude Law, who I love, mm-hmm. his accent was, like, fluctuating all over the place. It was a bit all what over the place. What was happening with it, his accent? It was going English, and then it was slipping into, like, an Irish accent, and then He was it, trying to do... What What I thought he was trying to do, there were moments where he had it where he was trying to sound like... Um, oh, my gosh, I just forgot his name. The actor who played uh, Dumbledore in the majority of the movies. Oh God, I can't. Not I'm the first so one. bad with names. I don't know. He has a very specific, um, a specific regional accent. Mm-hmm. Um, that's not like heavy, but it's specific. And I think Jude Law occasionally was trying to do that, and mm. then and before, then gave up. Yeah, it was like, like, was that just me? It was I, all I over the that. place, yeah. and different from him in the other movies. Boy, I'll tell you what, though, there was another accent in this movie. Oh my gosh. That was horrible. I was trying not to bring it up because I looked at, Did you hear me trying to tell so you this in the movie? Yeah. I don't want to get kicked out, but I just want to mention, like, what is this weird affectation that they're... It it's, sounds like a TikTok, like, voice. It's like a, it's yeah. a... Yeah. So what it is, it's a, a mid-Atlantic accent. But it's not. She's, but she it's wasn't an, it's, doing it. It's an attempt at a mid-Atlantic accent, which would make sense for the time and for where that character is from, but it was Except bad. Except for she's the only one that had it. Yeah, it was not good. It was not a good... It was so... It was... There's a character, and it's so jarring that literally we turned to each other several times. Like, whenever this person would start talking, we'd be like, what in the world is with them? It just... It was a little... It was, a it was little weird. weird. All, overall, they were a cool character, though. They had some cool moments. moments. Oh, yeah, yeah, no. I, I was pleased with the character, and I, I don't even know that I want to, like, complain... I don't even know if this is, like, a direction thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because it feels really specific to be just something this actress yeah. did. It, it, when, <laughs> but the thing is, is that, it, yes, it could be a nitpick, but when the nitpick takes you out of the movie for a moment, that's not good. You know? I like, think it's taking you out, though. It is. Because of, like, what we said, because that, it's not, it was clunky. So, like, I don't feel, I didn't feel like I was taken on a journey, like, yeah. on a like, path. Like I was you could just say, kind of, like, looking around yeah, and finding it, things. Like, you could say with Jude Law's accent, like, it was weird or whatever, but it didn't, it didn't it never, take me it out. It didn't take you out of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> it was weird. That's true. Yeah, Jude Law, that was a small thing. Like, I bet people won't even notice. I just noticed. Yeah. Like, occasionally the accent work was good, and then occasionally I was like, what is that? Yeah. And it's different than his natural accent mm-hmm. and the one he was using, I felt, in the early movies, which I'm going to rewatch just to see. Yeah. But I think he, I don't know what happened. Yeah, I, I think um, as far as criticisms are concerned, uh, there was one other that jumped out to me, which, you know, again, we're walking a fine line here without spoiling anything, but we all know that Dumbledore and Grindelwald have a relationship of sorts. It's touched on been prior movies, and it's been talked about, and I feel like... And Jake had confirmed. And she confirmed, yeah. you know, their relationship, and... Or wh- she who shall not be named confirmed. <laughs> confirmed whatever. <laughs> um, you know, but... And, and they talk about it. They mention it a few times in the movie. But I feel like they never really had that um, that that genuine connection to where you're like, oh, I see. We talked about this a little bit, though. Like, I feel like if this not against Mads, because I like him a lot as the character. He did great. I do feel like if Johnny Depp were playing the role, we would have felt that more. In fact, I did feel that more. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know. I think, like you said, it's like he played kind of more of an emotional side. And I feel like Mads played more of a villain like a yeah. stoic uh sc- kind of scary mm-hmm. domineering presence yeah in a good way 
because that's the character. Right. But when it calls for, I need to believe that there is a reason why these two have seemingly this, very different people are connected I mean, and have they, this bond. They literally have a physical bond to where, like, their lives, they're not yeah, allowed to, like, harm just, each other. You don't feel it. You just hear it. They just tell you exposition style, like, this is what we did. Don't yeah. you remember? And it's like, okay, oh, any, okay. anything else? Yeah. I don't need a flashback. I just need to feel... I just need to feel that there's an emotional connection like, between the two Even just a second, like a look or whatever. Something, right? Which they yeah. had one scene where I think they gave us a little bit of that, but it was kind of too late. Yeah. Yeah, it was a little too late at that point. Yeah. So, overall... Uh, I'll say for myself, a little let down by the movie. I do still enjoy the Fantastic Beasts trilogy. I love Newt. I love, um, what's his name? The Jacob. Who? Oh, is that it? Yeah. Is that his name? Jacob? It's Kowalski? Jacob. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, Kowalski. The human? Yes. The, the okay. muggle. I love him. So I love, like, uh, there, are, there are things about these movies that I enjoy, hmm. specifically characters and the world itself. And creatures. And creatures. But... I feel like this was a bit of a whimper of a way to end the trilogy. So, a little let down. Yeah. What, what would you yeah. say overall? What are your overall closing thoughts for it? I also felt like they were trying to show how, like, superior Dumbledore was as a wizard. Mm -hmm. And they were trying to show us that even though he could not battle Grindelwald himself, which mm -hmm. I don't think is a spoiler because I think that's revealed in the Yeah, yeah. They, that's, they have that thing that they're not the allowed to bond. harm each other. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but the plot required us to be like, wow, he's brilliant. Yeah. I, I didn't find the plan very brilliant. Okay, yeah, no, that's not a spoiler at all. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I didn't I'm find with it. You. I was a little let down by that because you want to, like, Dumbledore is the greatest wizard in the world. Right. And in this movie specifically, it's about kind of his prowess, and I just was like. Eh. Yeah, it's called The Secrets Any, of anyone, Dumbledore. Anyone could have concocted this. It wasn't really foolproof in any way. No. And then the finale, like, the ending, the conclusion, the culmination of his plan, I was like, of course. Yeah. Like, yeah, we knew that was going to happen. We knew that was going to happen. And that happens, right? Like, where you guess the yeah. ending. But in a way where I was like, but it's kind of like a... Oh, nothing happened. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. So, overall, you would say... I was disappointed. Ah, darn. I really liked it when we watched it. I know. Overall disappointed, but I totally think it's worth the watch, and it's like an enjoyable yeah. film. And I'm picking up the trilogy when it comes out, for sure. Yeah, and now I want to rewatch, right? Maybe yeah. we're being harsh. Maybe we will rewatch all three so. together and then see. I'll tell you what. I did see some negative reviews online and I was like these haters they just don't they like hate on all yeah you said yeah. that on the way you're like they hate on all of these movies and I don't think they're bad yeah and I don't think they're bad but this one is definitely the worst of the three in my opinion and it sounds yeah. like it with you as well yeah all right okay well we'll wrap it up here of course these are just our thoughts let me know what you guys think in the comments below have you seen Fantastic Beast the secrets of Dumbledore uh, did you like it did you not like it which of the Fantastic Beast movies is your favorite? I'd love to hear maybe your ranking in the comments below, so definitely let us know there. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. All right. Do we... Be good. <laughs> Do we tell them we got to see it early? Oh, they'll know because this is going up tomorrow. Oh, you're... Oh, hello. All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs>